I was in the, this kid Brad's BMW headed to a party and I was in the back seat and this was back in the day where um, everybody used to, and I don't know if you used to drive like this, where you have your seat basically all the way in the back. So we're in this kid's BMW and they're passing blunts around and I have a 40 in my lap and everybody's drinking and smoking and we're drinking and driving headed to a party and his seat is basically in my lap and I'm in the back seat. <laughs> An outcast, Wales of Steel was going, and they're passing blunts around. I don't smoke anymore, but I'm drinking, and I'm start. I'm just looking around, and I'm like, "Yo, this is exactly what I would be doing at my old school." And it dawned on me, and this is why overarching message is love, right? Because what I realized in that moment at 15 and a half is that underneath all the stories that we have about each other, gay, straight, white, black, Christian, Muslim, Democrat, Republican, whatever. Right? Underneath all of that is the one truth, which is love. Everybody's being bombarded by the same media. Everybody's doing the same things, but it's difficult to rise to low expectations. And so I began to see that the kids at my former school were going to jail, that the kids at my new school were going to Yale. And that distinction of like, yo, they're smoking weed, drinking, listening to Outkast, Tupac, and Biggie. They're smoking weed, drinking, listening to Outkast, Tupac, and Biggie. What's the difference? The expectation. These the kids are ex expected to fail. These kids, oh, this is a phase, right? And so here I am in the middle, able to see, right? Because that's all we, all you can ever ask for. Awareness comes before choice. Awareness comes before choice. The moment you have awareness, you, knew, you now have a new choice. Without the awareness of door or doorknob, me trying to get out of this house would be a bloody mess. But the moment I have that, then it opens up an entire new world. And so in that moment, because my friend was shot, because all of these things happened, I, it was like a crack in like the matrix for me. And I could see straight through it. And there was like this interesting juxtaposition, juxtaposition between being angry because I recognized that the system was set up for me to fail. Mm. And then also being grateful that I could see it at 15 and a half, at that point I was like a religious person. And so the, 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 the quote, forgive them father for they know not what they do from the Bible, sort of just like swam through my mind while Outcast is playing and this dude's seat is in my lap. And like, this is like the most surreal moment of my life, right? And so we get to the party, fast forward. I end up going to college. I end up like getting a master's degree. I cheated my way through my undergrad and then decided that I wasn't gonna cheat in my master's and got a 4.0.